Hey everyone, welcome back to Anita's Joints, hashtag extended joint, where every day is payday, baby. Oh, got a long hand, hold on. Well, I was waiting to see when uh, we were about to get the game started, but that's my sign. Happy <laughs> Saturday. Killed the intro, killed the intro. Oh. But anyways, welcome back, or welcome again. End of yourself. <clears throat> Houston. <laughs> Houston. Do we have a problem? <clears throat> now, Houston, do we have a problem? <clears throat> Hold on now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shit. Well, Houston and racing in in Houston. You know, first home match. <clears throat> first home match. First home match. First home match. What do you got? The the prom queen there. She's here. Watch the prom queen. The prom queen watches football too. Sanchez. Hey. Um. Who's who? Uh, Gary and Jenna. I'll turn it up a little bit for y'all, but you know. They better not be talking shit about Houston. They, they better not. <laughs> nah, no slander at home. Is it me or that nigga's audio slow? Hello. Good not hear nothing. They just are fine. But opening weekend recap, man. Racing tied against Rick Orlando. Mega somehow got it done. Alright, I'm trying to hear. Let's see if they fix the audio for me. Awesome. Man, I can barely hear that guy. I hear more music. What an incredible See, I hear that perfectly. Alonzo telling us one game does not define a season. As for what will, well, maybe we'll get a little clearer picture of that tonight. Kickoff coming your way on the other side. You're watching NWSL Plus. Whoa, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to refresh the app for me. And then maybe that should fix some of their audio issues. But anyways, Houston. Okay, Fran. One match does not define uh, the team. Makes sense. Makes sense to me. I mean, he has a different look um, for this match, too. And they're playing racing, so different team. They, they're not all those champions that we saw with freaking North Carolina. Like. I got to log out of everything. Interesting. We got two time NWSL champions, three times NWSL, uh, NWSL show winners, two time Challenge Cup champions. They had to play that in their first match. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Houston. 
I mean, look at Houston. Uh, I can search. Uh, well. They should be back pretty soon. We just got Houston official 2020 challenge cup. That's it. But at least they got something, you know, something to flex. Uh, so. All right, they're back. Or just about full time. In the second week of NWSL play, let's get you to the starting lineups for the Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? One, two, three, three back? Five. So he dumps uh, the Brazilian. Nakasato's in. Barbara gets off the bench. Brad uh, Patterson gets her second star. I think Peterson was started last time. And I think. Um, let's see. Uh, Sarah played in the back, too. But Patterson, she's the one. They got dangerous places, but uh, what happened to uh, the Lolo? She on the bench or what? what she. Okay, I think that's what they said in the below. That's weird. Well, get her a rest, I guess. I was like, I was wondering who she was. I was like, is she someone we know? She played. So. Yeah, man, so the two Scottish Cups with Celtic FC. And they're like, who is Celtic? Is this Banyard? Let me turn this off. Damn, Jane been loyal. 150? What the fuck? Let's love the game. You snake. Oh, that's some cheese shit. Alright, hold on. Let me hit the sound. Houston's um, three back system going for three back when they got scored scored on by five. 
Time moves pretty fast. Oh, I was wondering where they got the audio. attracted an Austrian player. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Donia's gonna be used for her height. And Cece's gonna be used to get them strikes in. She had a great game. I wonder which, what, where she's from again. But she definitely, she had to be one of the rookies you drafted. Instant impact. Opportunity to say that Houston's working a little nine to five with Ordonia's number five. <laughs> number five. Oh, yeah, can we do that? Working a little dog. <laughs> there is CC Kaiser back with and racing one good team first year back with the to uh, get that second she was drafted by Houston in twenty second match. And then actually Hold on. Patterson, Patterson, right here. Okay. Uh, in the middle of the field for Jenna Kanu for Louisville, Nigerian international wearing number twenty nine. Racing, turning the corner in the middle. That's Kayla Fisher, twenty four year old midfielder in her second year with racing now. To Alexa Barr, the rookie sensation had a goal and an assist. Don't give her that much. Oh, Raylan Turner. No way. First look with the dimes. So she's dangerous. That's a, just a, a quick wake up call. Early, bro. Well, I'll take it. And that's a good touch. That and she was offside with like that's what she needed to score. And uh yeah, thankfully that's offside, but very, very nice. Very nice. That's a rookie sensation, they said. So she wears the number look, bro. What's my favorite? Damn, she got all the accolades. Racing Haver. Starting right off. So you're going to continue to play on here. No goal was the call, and that is what will stand. We do have VAR available. But I would think, Gary, that is uh, a warning shot has been fired. On Bro, did, didn't I just say that? Houston, you cannot afford to didn't I just say that? The fuck? She listens to me. It's like, ooh, she got that last touch. Nice. Ooh. Whoa, crazy. Did she? She didn't play last match, bro. Did she? Is she really? Ooh. She, she could have scored. That could have been another easy goal. That should have been a goal. The most easiest goal. That she was. Mmm. Maybe just a quicker Ashley Hatch archetype. Cause that's what I get. I get I get Ashley Hatch vibes, but quicker. Oh, race in Houston. Can't even get out of the press. Mm. She touched again. Damn, damn. She, who our defense? 
What are we going to see feasting in front of, uh... She's feasting in front of Salome, or whoever, Pentagram, uh... Pe what is, who else is back there? Peterson, she's feasting. The 1v1 matchups are over every time. Mm -hmm. Going back to the change that Fran Alonso made by putting Sophie Schmidt at centre back, you was hoping that her experience would settle things in that defensive position. Well, the Sanchez. It's still got problems. Oh. <laughs> All right, she's gonna have a million dollar a uh, year too. Huh? She already kind of scored the goal. Oh, I thought he was going to call the foul. That was a foul. That was a foul. But, uh, Patterson. Yo, get wrestled with. On the ground, though, still won the wrestle, too. Oh, oh, oh. It was. It was. Mm. But that's a good way to set up on um, Diana. That's exactly what they have to do. Because <sighs> what we're going to have to see is how Houston going to score. How does it happen with the players that they have? Sato six seasons Chicago a long time to stay with one club and then inside the dip yeah I really felt you gotta foul Kanu outside the box and inside the box so yo yeah, yeah, yeah no no goals will happen bro you're wild what are you talking about But I do think that Houston, it's de defensively, like, they, we, they got to get better, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to remember who have been Houston center backs. They got to find one. Maybe scout one. I was thinking, oh my goodness, if she didn't get that touch, uh, Diana, there was two racing the defenders right behind her. My goodness. Oh, he used to play out the back, risky. But she's older player. Yeah, very. That girl should have scored. No cap. <laughs> it was done so deadly too. It was so nice. Right after the the other goal. Ready to run on to it in orange. Here is Schmidt, long time Canadian 
2023 World Cup. Over 200 appearances for the country, number 13 in the middle of that back three. There she is. That's where we typically see her a little higher up the field in that number six holding midfield position. Kanu, trip on the sideline. Kanu getting a good goal in the previous game. Lovely left foot shot past the keeper in that 2-2 draw with Orlando Pride. Just getting a bit of a warning there from referee Brandon Stevis. You can't really pull players back that easy, especially once they've got away from you. That's deemed a professional foul. That's a very borderline yellow card, which is likely not to end up in the book. Who is this guy? Oh, man. <laughs> And I wonder, is Alonzi someone that maybe needs to be in the starting lineup too? Well, certainly racing don't have a good record in Houston. Five matches, three losses and two draws. So a win here would be welcome change. Some of our key playmakers that could create that's another foul, yeah. And they've typically been fairly low scoring affairs between these two. Is that Sanchez? No, that's Barbara. <laughs> Who's, he's still stretched out until the rep got there. The choppiness right now may actually Gary play to Houston's favor, right? Jalen's like fouling him. Flicking and waiting in the attack. That's important for the dashes to get their foot on the ball, calm it all down, get control of the game. Uh oh, did I hear about the Summer Cup? There's a Summer Cup? Oh, this sounds interesting. Is it national teams or club teams? But no, I did not hear about it. <laughs> Is it going to happen this year? What's up, Tim Flash, though? <laughs> well, we didn't done it. We didn't done it. We then done it. That's what we just need. Might as well. They're on the uh. They're on the Olympics. So the 33, the 33 match event will include all 14 NWSL sides and the top, with the six top point getters across Mexico. Over and closing. Let's see here if Houston can find a way to test Katie London goal. Well, <laughs> oh, damn. Sanchez, so far, she's got... She's had like three chances here so far. Every match for racing last year. Um, you know, so we always get that Katie Lou goalkeeper and Murphy mixed up for some reason. But she's the one that had the game against Bayern Munich where she scored the penalty. 
That's what she was, uh, I think that's right. She scored a penalty, and it was a Bayern Munich that came through. It's like, it was like when they, I guess, were just joining um, the league. Ah, right. It's like July 28 or something like that. So, wait till you see it's playing. Someone has shown. Someone has shown. Let me just get Who's playing each other? The top six five? They already got the... So we have to know Club America. We have to know the heavy hitters are going to be there. All those teams that we see. We should see Chivas, America, Tigas, Manadias. We should see the main, peop main people from Mexico. And it's like, alright ladies, let's see who got the best team to battle out against any of these NWSL teams. So Tigas... Yo, they, depending, they may, hopefully they get a good team, a decent team. You know, they played against Barcelona this year, I mean last year, so I mean, I mean, bring on anybody. And so, then, you know, everyone else, worry about everybody else, but, it's definitely, oh look, they're talking about it right now. And then with Houston, it says all NWSL teams are going to be. See what happens. So it's a great opportunity. That's more matches you get to play for Fran. You get to know what type of, you know, how are we going to, how Houston's going to play. What are they going to look like when they're successful? How do they get it done with the players that they have? And if they don't, where do they have to change things? Yeah, do the best you got to do. But not too many, not too many good looks. Not yet. And she's still playing right now. Hey, tell him. <laughs> well. Well, that's great. Because we got to still have our connection. We have to be the first pool to, to a team like Tigas. Houston and Tigas. Tigas, at the minute, they're a bigger club. They're a bigger team than Houston. No cap. So it's like, well, this is good for Houston. It's kind of like on the opposite of the flip. We're like, you know, we want to see where Mexico is against the end of the show. But for Houston, we know. Look, we're watching them right now. We're going to see how they do. But Houston Tigers, this helps them know, like, all right, where are we at against the Queens in Mexico? Like, what, what, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing? This is Houston's opportunity. This is a great draw. It's a great draw. It's a great draw. For both parties. Because they already have a relationship too, you know, so it should be a good time. Thanks for uh, sharing. Thank you. That's awesome. It makes you feel good. Defend the set piece. 
Yo, but they stopped going to that striker, uh, Turner, and everything cooled down for racing. So I'm glad they kind of forgot about her because she was like, she's good to like this breakthrough Houston defense. She was, and they just, they just, they haven't been doing it to her. Or she's been, uh, ooh. And we lost. Um, I wonder if, uh, well, it wouldn't matter. She's gone. If Houston got to invest in, um, like, both CCN or Donias are still quite young, you know? Yeah, oh, I think Campbell got out there. She got out there. It's clean. I think this is clean. I think Jane got out there. If not, it still was outside the box. Oh yeah, I did. Oh yeah, I did. Jane Campbell deciding to come out of her box, but we were just saying how easy it was for Race Nuvel to play through the press and all this space opened up. Beautiful ball there uh, through for Ray Well, Houston get in a uh, save here by Jane. And gets away with it, man. No call. Woo, the, the goal. The goal. Man, Turner, it's been like Turner 10 shots versus Houston. Yo, she is everywhere. She's, is she a rookie? She got drafted, racing hammer. Every season we get treated to new players, your younger players who, who step up a level. Well, she is one of the most exciting I've seen for a long time. That's we've seen so far in this match and the first match she played. Yeah, I would agree. Is she a rookie? Oh. Just can't give the ball away like that. It's not like a, pa a pass. It's gonna be that type of day for Jane. Wow, what does she have to do to score? What a good head, a beautiful ball in play, by the way. Absolutely stunning. Initially here, Carnu trying to get it in. Hmm. Sort of a, a swing. Well, Luckily it was with it was just a header, you know. It's Houston's defense. They gotta. They gotta. Two goals in her UCLA career, an All-American. She ranked top five when she graduated in terms of all-time goals for the Bruins. And boy, she is hunting her first goal as a pro. The ball in the box. She's pretty tall too. And like I said, some of the some of these rookies. Uh, their college stat line, I guess, I just heard a lot of, this is a really good draft class, like this, in general. They're already influencing the teams, and it's it's good to see, like, it's an instant impact. Like, we, man, we dropped the real one. She ready. Hey, bro, they're trying to manifest Raven Turner a goal. Hey, look, she had like four opportunities on goal, but Jane Campbell ain't like no regular goalkeeper. She's not no regular goalkeeper. She's goalkeeper of the year, goalkeeper of the year. 
but I'm I'm not seen. It's tough that they just got rid of. Uh, we lost. Tri Where's Trisaw? I thought Trisaw was here. But like I said, France knew. He, this is the back three he wants. He wants Peterson, Stallone, and Puttigram. This is his back three. And Sophie maybe is in there, but. Uh, That's what's crazy. Uh oh, Sanchez. Just a moment. This play right here, we didn't quite see it live action, Gary. Kanu did pick up the yellow card on that play, on the foul on Sanchez. And it's probably because she was on a warning already. Mm -hmm. If you remember about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, she got hit in the back of the foot. Uh, back of the, yeah, right there. Barbara. <laughs> I like Barbara in the midfield though, because she's she's gonna she's like one of those she's gonna she's a physical she's not put behind getting pushed and she does not mind pushing and I think you need one of those people just in general so it's nice to see Houston have one in her but we need uh, Nakasato there's just a lot of stories I think you gotta maybe find CC Kaiser she's supposed to be reliable at getting goals. Great some opportunities for her. And up in the air with Ardornia. So you got you got two kind of two different things. So those are your best bets. That's another. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you saw that one. <laughs> she saved it right there, dude. They maybe she moved the whole time with the ball. She she jumped up. Diana was a rookie during those times. Uh, yeah, and then think about it. Two wishes. Yeah, but, but, but. All right, but yeah, I think it has to be something with passing. I'm thinking it has to be something with passing. Fran wants those three back there. And of course, Sophie, seven back. Uh, I guess one needed. Oh, but this is a good. Give away right there. <sighs> like you can't be doing that, really. Coming out the back, you're the defender, you're the last line of defense, and now you're turning the ball over. Like okay, okay, okay. All right, best possession for Houston right now, like, right now. It's good. Ah. Wow. Just a little, 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 little. But she put, she got right in front of her easily. Washington coming to town. Washington in action right now with Bay FC. Those two tied up one one. Mm. And Bay FC still scoring. Okay. And Washington scored. Nothing doing. After they didn't score against uh Seattle. Campbell. 
All right, Houston. But um, the only thing we could, I don't think I can just recall what he was saying was from the interviews, I guess the videos that we have with him to, on Houston about how he wanted to play, play through the back. Um, back three, I remember he said that. So that's why it was so strange that he went out with a 4-4-2 in the first match. I'm like, bro, I thought I was expecting a three back. Okay. And I watch Millie is real good, man. She's like an engine. She's a good player. Yeah, but Houston, Houston getting some time on the ball. So risky. Just want it more. She stretched out like, ah, I want it more. Oh, yeah, yes. We st I forgot. We still got her to come. Oh, snap. I still forgot that. She, she, wait, she's on the bench? Hold on. Let me find out. Rubinson's on the bench. Oh yeah, we don't know how she'll influence Houston. Oh, she's she, she's in the building. She's in the building. Oh. Yeah. It happens. Ah. I like that. Pattinson, that one kept the ball right there. Not just simple. She had a... Salone that pass to luckily they got the throw. If that's the pass she's trying to make, I understand. But she's gotta she's gotta make it. Cause not to turn over. But I like the vision. It's a, it was a good forward forward pass. So that was a pass from Jane Campbell to, to, to Diana right there. Okay. Yeah, but inside the box, she has to like set herself up, make a touch. Yeah, foul. 
time on the ball at the back, are they? You could see Sophie Schmidt saying, come, come to me, come, somebody come and help me out here. But there's a, there's a racing Louisville player every single time. Look, forced them back to the goalkeeper. It really has been a, a good example of high pressing here from the visiting side. And you have to think usually that player that would be coming back to the back line for Houston would be Sophie Schmidt. She'd be that one in the midfield that Pendulum All right. was able to come back <laughs> Since Raything wasn't able to score, thankfully, because they had multiple opportunities, uh, Houston had been able to, like, ooh, breathe a little bit and gain possession. A little bit better, much better. We're seeing the connections, the flick. So this is her second foul. <laughs> she ain't got Cardi yet, so we're cool. She, I think the next one she do is it's, it's a yellow. Yo, so Manchester City woman. They won Manchester City. Ooh, I saw when I woke up, I was like, oh, I, I, I was like, man, City. Got to see Jess Park, Bunny Shaw. Oh man! Oh. She gets her foot to it. To keep that clean sheet, this could so easily have been two or three ahead for the visiting team, but for Jane Campbell. Spider-Man like save for Campbell reaching away from the direction her body was going. Tough angle for Barr, who did well to get the volley on goal. You're talking about changes, and I just I wonder if Fran Alonso is looking at this going, we've been a little bit fortunate, and we, you know, it's not gonna, our, our good luck's not gonna continue. Do I bring on somebody else to start changing things? But you look at his bench, and most of them are players that he left out because they didn't perform last week. So, with the exception of Ellen Rubinson, I'm not sure who he brings on to change things. Pickett found a path forward. Turner. Gave yeah, so this is similar to like a. The second alternative team with some different players. Like I said, I do think maybe they can bring in a long Z. Just, I, I think more often, the best players. She's really cool. She's pretty cool. She's pretty cool. Being a threat. Being a 
terrorizing Houston defense like every time she's terrorizing just like damn luckily she ain't booked y'all so uh yeah seems like a cool turner Targets there, headed up high. Now out of play. All right. Well, there is other NWSL action happening right now on NWSL Soccer Saturday night over on Ion. You can tune in, catch the Washington Spirit hosting Bay FC. You can go to Ion Television. <laughs> That's a good header one. Again, another win in midfield from Taylor Flint. Everything they put up in the air there. Taylor's straight back. This hangs not quite enough, though, for Connor to get there before Campbell. Too much time on the ball again. Any decent keeper going to come catch them all day long. Ardonias, back central for Salon. Ah, uh, yep. Uh, but yeah, uh, she's not getting past, let's say, let's say it's Sloan, she's not getting past the first defenders that she's supposed to beat in the midfield, either with the pass or a dribble, so. Then, and this is kind of, I like, because, you know, Diana, this is pretty good. She likes coming back to goal, so she, she can do that more consistently. Her first touch will get better and better and better. And then maybe instead of her, uh, when she gets the ball, she just holds it up. I mean, not holds it up. She, uh, yeah, holds it up for a teammate. She'll turn and run to the goal. Maybe go for a strike more. Uh, oh, and she got the yellow card, too. So, yeah, yeah, she, she makes sense. Also, Kiki, um, she had a pretty good game. The short time we got to see her, so she could be another player. And then, of course, this the what's his name? Uh, the Swedish player that they signed. And I wonder, like. Sanchez, you're supposed to grab that one. I think uh, Nakasato got her at the end. She's a married woman now. Yeah, and if... Um, yeah, she got hit right there. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, that's an ouch. Press. 
Pushing in, creating the turnover, racing back on it. We have like three or four passes worked, but it's, it's not that bad. Expected goals 1.2. And when they master it, we're gonna be like, oh, we got it done. For Houston, feels like a fairly accurate summary of what we've seen so far. Yeah, I would say at least that. Yeah. I mean, it could even be higher than that for racing Louisville. There's so many balls flashing across the, the goal and so many chances to have got that opening goal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Giving the ball away. Well, good blocks from Houston. Zero, zero. I can't complain. And I'm glad there was no handballs. <laughs> um... And it was so. It's just, uh... And it was so announced Summer Cup with Liga and Next for Manil. The end of so have announced a new summer tournament in partnership with Liga and Next for Manil. An intra league competition will kick off on July 19th and feature all 14 NWSL teams as well as the top six teams. Top six league IMX teams from 2023. The tournament will be, or the tournament will total 33 matches, including 30 group stage contests. A four team semifinal will take place the week of August 4th. The championship match will then take place October 25th, 27th. Uh huh. Today's announcement marks a historic milestone for women's soccer in North America and signified and another uh, significant step to the continued elevation of our global game. And NWSL Commissioner Jesse Bergman, we're excited to partner with Leah MX Feminil to create to create additional competitive op opportunities for our athletes, unlock new rivalries, tap into our collective fan base, and continue to share our mission by raising the value, visibility, and global standard of our sport. It comes a little over a week after CONCACAF announced a Continental Club competition that will launch in August of this year. The tournament takes place, of course, uh, course, this tournament takes place over the course of the Olympics, when a number of international players will be away for their international, for the national teams. The NWSL regular season teams, regular seasons will break from July 7th to August 24th. All along the league made clear its, its intention to launch the what? All along the league made clear its intention to launch a tournament during the gap play. There there are five total groups in the tournament, but of the five group winners, only the top four with the most points will advance to the semifinals. That makes it so that one team will win the group and not make it to the knockout stage. <laughs> The alliance we are announcing today is a great achievement of the women's football in our region and around the world. Two great women's professional football leagues coming together to advance the sport in our area, expand and grow the industry, build a new sporting identity and rivalry, strengthen partnerships beyond the pitch, inspire more people to join the movement, build community, and open up new opportunities for players to have new windows of internationalization. And we got next female director, Marina. Rihanna? Rihanna. 
with tears. We got enough people that is proud of us to work together with Henry So let us celebrate. This is an historic moment for women in sports. <clears throat> the groups are as follows. Portland Thorns, Group A, Portland Thorns FC, Seattle Rain FC, Utah Royals FC, Tijuana. Group B, Angel City FC, San Diego Wave FC, Bay FC, Club America. <laughs> Club C, Kansas City Current, Houston Dash, Chigas, Tuzas. Group D, Gotham, Washington Spears, Chicago Red Stars, Chivas. Group E, Orlando Pride, North Carolina, Racing, Racing Louisville, and Rebellious. Wow. That's quite... That's quite exciting. That is quite exciting. So the teams that got like, so look, I'm looking, Houston, is this, this is two of us, right? Like they're saying two of us because they're probably, it's going to be the top six teams for two and three. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that is. So it's so funny that Kansas City Current and Houston are the group that has two Mexican sites. Of all the teams, it's Kansas City Current and Houston. So dang, they trying to get rid of the heavy hitters. They trying to get rid of Houston. So Tigas have to win the group. They they have to win the group because Houston, of course, even though it's a good game for them to play, Tigas have to be Houston. They have to come out on top, and then they still have to come out on top via points of the top four. That's fire right there. It's like ah, that's tough. They done them dirty there. <laughs> Oh, Blacko's in that group. Oh, snap. Blacko, he's, he's Blacko going to try to pull a haymaker. He's going he to pull a rat. He's going to pull something magical out of his hat and figure out how to dance out the group. I mean. All right, all right. We still good. We still good. That is crazy. <sighs> Um, let me do something. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Rio Sanchez did what? Oh, my bad, y'all. You can't even hear it. Oh, my bad. Oh, so Maria Sanchez on the guitar. Am I reading this? <laughs> I like it, Sanchez. She's out there singing and stuff. Music uh, is a very, very powerful tool. Uh, but yeah, I think you saw that correctly. If you're if you're looking at a, a Liga MX and. It's called the Summer Cup. Ah, okay. And there's so no, it's just the Summer Cup. So it's going to be every summer or it's just this. It has to be every summer, right? Let's see. I need some images. images. What? Uh, Tuzas, uh, uh, Tijuana, Monterrey, Chivas, America. All on the dance. Group A. 
Portland's going to have Seattle Rain, Utah Royals, Tijuana. B, Angel City, San Diego A, VLC, Shack Club America. You got like the Cali team. So you going to California. Uh, Houston, current, who's us? Yeah, we're going to get to see everyone play. Hmm. Chivas. Chivas is going to be interesting how they play against these teams. We should learn a lot from Chivas. Uh, so they're going to get out of that group. Orlando, North Carolina Racing. Mm. I think they're gonna be back here pretty soon. That is wild. And then we just found out there, there's going to be another tournament, right? So, all right, I think they, the Copper Cap is trying to announce the tournament. Is that what they said? Hold on. Is that what we read? She said, okay, so now we know about this Summer Cup, but then she said, this, this comes as a, this comes a little over a week after Copper Cap announced a Continental Club competition. What the fuck is that? Okay. Oh, I have, have to look into it. Um, oh, Group B, Scarlet. Yeah, Group B's. Uh, group B, Angel City, San Diego Way, Bay FC, Club America. Hey, yeah. Second minute. Oh. Oh. Who else has a difficult group? Let's see. Um, Portland, Seattle, Utah, Tijuana, Tijuana. Mm. Well, the top four teams are going to be able to advance. So Orlando, Courage, Racing, and Renatias. I mean, right now, I would say... Can Renatias upset um, North Carolina based upon... We saw North Carolina get beat by... Who did North Carolina play? We just saw them. Utah Royals. 
or watching racing. So Renato's gonna have a fair opportunity. Uh, Gotham, Washington, Chicago, Chivas. Will Gotham champions advance? By this time is uh, Jonathan with Washington. We'll see. I mean, Chicago do got Mel Swanson back. This is a tough group for Chivas. Huh? I'm sorry. Chivas. Let's see. Can y'all make it do what it do? Man, Kansas is good. Tigos are going to have to beat Kansas. The best, the best they can do is to get a draw out of it. The draws are, whoever draws, it's like, damn. You got to beat everyone just to give yourself the best opportunity. You got to beat everyone. If you get a draw, man. And then Angel City, San Diego, BFC, Club America. I mean, I think San Diego is going to say something. Club America. You're gonna, I think this is a kind of a cool group to watch them play against these teams. Portland gonna want to come out of the group on top, but I think Seattle, Utah, they look good. Tijuana, so Tijuana, everyone is coming to play. Yeah, okay. I forgot. Uh, Hey, hey, Manchester United. It's going to be a goal for Houston. We got some substitutions. Pittsburgh girl. And the Brazilian. Morgan and... Sarah Hype, oh, okay. Okay, so I'm cool with bringing on some. So, Kaiser came off. Man, she's never gonna win that header. But the attempt, you know, go for it. That's a good look. Fuck. Hey, yo, 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 why is she, she's, she's slander, slandering. Are right, he gonna bring it? I think if she's on the bench. Okay. Patterson didn't really have that good match, unfortunately, today. I think next match will maybe a little bit better. I think she has some good touches. Um, but yeah, sometimes you need a player like Andresinha just to pull off the unexpected because she does bring a certain type of energy. Um... Yeah, we're going to see if Sarah can uh, get through uh, that back line for San Diego. So, the Summer Cup. Yeah, they grew, Houston grew a little bit in the second half more, so. Well, oh, damn. No corner earned. Uh-huh. Sanchez puts it 
Yeah, man, you gotta find a way to keep it away from Flint, man. She's huge. She's like the twin tower. So she's gonna win every header most of the time. So that's difficult. A little difficult. Oh wow. Oh, she got the ball through. Instant retaliation. A free transfer. She ain't get drafted. She's a new signing. That's how you say her name? Goodness. That's a lot of. That's like one, two for like every ten minutes. So like every. It's a lot of saves. Oh, she slipped. Oh. Like, uh, the Houston passing. Let me see how the passing is. Let me look. Uh, stats, possession, come on, come on. Passing accuracy for Houston is 82, really? Okay, all right, 82, is, uh, it can be a little better. Oh, okay. Hey man, we'll take that pass every time if they want to back heel. Uh, it's an easy turnover. No one really had to. Uh, 
work for it. She said she'd rather than mm. take chances being brave. So he brought on this West Amanda West girl. Giving the ball away that way. And then um she said giving the ball away being brave, she'd take that. That's okay. Take a chance every now and then. And I'm so has won the ball the rest a few times. But more than a few times it's just been constant. Fisher setting up Turner. Got it caught in her feet, bar. It looks like normal service has been resumed after a flurry of a few minutes from Houston Dash. Once again, Raylan Turner, Barr, they're all starting to get on that front foot again. Wow, what a superstar she could become. <laughs> this Raylan Turner, just 21 years of age. Oh, she's from Australia? Athlete ever to sign with Nike. They recognized a superstar yeah. early on when she was at UCLA. <laughs> Fourth corner of the match. Wait, did I say uh, Riley and Turner's Australian? Let me make sure this is correct. Fine. Uh, she is. No, she's from. She's from America. Looks like. Yeah, America. Yeah, but she's 21. She's in a trip there, and then is there a boot in the face? It's hard to see. And that Ali Setner girl, girl is good too. Ali Setner. For Utah. Yeah, her goal is free fire. She's on Aquarius too. Here's a, another look again. Not sure exactly. Maybe the contact occurring on the way down. Could be. That could have been a stray. Could have been a stray. And Savvy King, uh, Savvy King that had to defend uh, Thompson in Aquarius, too. No situations. A lot of it unseen by the fans. Players learn to live with injury. You learn to play with injury. As long as it's not too serious. Mm -hmm. Just six starts for Taylor Flint last year. She was, out, as I mentioned, had some opportunities with the U.S. national team, but was a part of that San Diego Wave team that finished top the table in the NWSL. Okay. And they just played Gotham in the Challenge Cup. New format this year. Challenge Cup just a winner-take-all match between the regular season champion San Diego Wave and the NWSL champion Gotham who went through the playoffs to win the title in 2023. Alex Morgan's late game winner giving the Wave that trophy to start the season. And now both of those teams will start their regular season, San Diego a little later tonight. So that one's just about to kick off against Kansas City over on Ion at 10 p.m. Eastern. And then Gotham, that match will be coming up tomorrow night at 7 o'clock against the Portland Thorns over on ESPN2. Well. <laughs> Houston. Damn. 82 possession. Gotta get. Gotta be. Like, do you give Aaron one more day, like one more match to rest, and then you bring her in in the next match? Because it's still zero zero, so like she can make an impact already and like help help the score. You, I, he may be bring, I think he gonna bring her on today. I think he gonna bring her on. It's just gonna be see how long Houston hold it zero zero. They give her like good 10, 15 minutes. See if she can help that midfield. Maria Sanchez stayed on, but maybe the coach felt that they weren't getting enough support from out wide, so changes were made with Avery Patterson coming off. Sanchez now on your near side of the screen. You can see her. Oh, it's a lot of space. Oh, she was offside? Oh, dang. season 
opener in week one at North Carolina. 5-1 the scoreline. In their club history, the Dash have never lost their first two matches. Well, that's a good stat line. That is true. Oh, 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 early ball, okay. She, yeah, she practiced. Oh, she. Oh. She missed the opportunity. She, she got hit. But that was, yeah, that's what she had to do. She went all the way by herself after that. Andressa wants a VAR. They do got VAR. She kicked the ground. Uh-oh. I gotta get a replay. A closer replay. They're gonna give, it, uh, give us a better replay of this. Because she did go down in the box. No fouls called. Not yet. Replay could show something else, but Oh yeah. brave, brave play and Yeah, cause, and then Diana got tugged a little bit too, so she just kept going and but that was some good moments right there. This was an early ball after Andressa got the ball. She passed it out to Diana in open space, and she went for it. She obviously knows her body well, and she probably felt that all the travel, the extra international matches at her age might not be a wise decision. And that's, that's what helps you with longevity, making the right decisions for your body at the right times. It's good to see a smile on her face as she gets... All right. Damn. All right. Looks like Belle Greedy is one of those. Belle Greedy. And then the other change. Ah, Rubinson. Nice. What number is she wearing? 31. Yeah, that'd be fabulous. Take away the three points. That's that's a way to welcome yourself to a new club. Score a winning goal on home turf. Oh wow. What they checking? Well, there could be a technicality here. We knew. 
knew Rubinson was potentially available. And I think it has been cleared. Maybe some sweat happening over there on the Houston sideline, just making sure they had you know, crossed all their T's, dotted all their I's. Um, oh, well. But I'm glad she's a midfield player because we need help in the midfield. Oh, yeah. Hey, you're bad. Oh! Things going on that you have to keep an eye on, so easily forgiven. Now I gotta get that right. Appreciate you keeping me honest. Oh, that's a ball through. On the attack again, edge of the area. Oh! This goes wide. Is that Aaron already? God damn. In the first half, as I say, that's all history now. Nah, that was Diana, yeah, I said that. as well it fires up the home crowd and fan alonso was talking about he wants to give the fans something to celebrate he said that's all about goals we want to get this wonderful crowd behind us well that's they're beginning to come to life mm. and his words he said he was obsessed with goals ah uh, sanchez and that's why he's surrounded himself fancy flick because he understands there is a balance there but he knows for this Houston team to have success they have to have more of an attack he they have the players to be dangerous just wants to put them in the right system the right mindset to showcase that and I just wonder for racing Louisville if they're just losing a little bit of the momentum with it Savannah DeMello coming on might just brighten things up liven things up nah Houston gonna take over who's Houston gonna let it loose take over possession mm. number would be and it was right about what we just yeah, saw 60 percent 60 percent again of course it, it depends what you do with the possession but for him a starting point is to have 60 percent and then to say okay did we use it well did we create oh, so that's his number and certainly if you look at the second half it's a much better houston dash and credit the coach for a couple of changes they were risky changes and dresser amanda west coming on just saying right guys come and do something there is the coach Come and do something, and he's getting that response from his team. It must make him a much happier coach than he was first half. Not sure coaches are ever happy until that <laughs> final whistle blows, though. <laughs> and, and they've won the game. If they haven't won, yeah. they're still not happy. <laughs> wonder too from a racing Louisville perspective here's a team that has proven they can come out flying they did that in their season opener got up to a two nothing lead in the first 19 minutes of that match against Orlando wound up letting that one slip away and yeah racing they didn't they didn't uh, fall through to a 10 team Orlando mm -mm -mm -mm. chances and shots on target and blocks from goalkeepers and and center backs that they oh she turned Fisher spins shoots and deflects off her own player out of bounds but to your point you do have to take the chances and they struggled in the first match they went 2-0 up and then gave it away didn't 
close that game out even when they had the extra player towards the end and there was a, a sending off for Orlando Pride and they had up against 10 players and they still didn't win the game racing move also oh she got that ball she settled it this game after the wonderful first half performance Sanchez the crowd building in anticipation sensing something happening for the Houston Dash ball in the box Ursay clears it away Peterson back in the <laughs> Player down about Portland, uh, the racing player in the back. mentioned I just feel it might be the right time to start making a few changes for racing Louisville now as we see this ball put in by Olivieri and as always maybe Ursig able to clear it hmm. as you can see Pickett just coming up limping after that play didn't see an awful lot of contact he is one of those pieces that is just so valuable to what this racing will mm. wants to do. She's an excellent defender, but she can also get up into the attack, serves a beautiful ball oh, across. Fantastic striker of a dead ball. Absolutely world class. And you can see a good look there. Yeah. Out that half of her left arm. She has been a, a spokesperson, an advocate for limb difference and what that may yeah it, it wasn't no context it was like no context so it's like that's tough <laughs> she's gonna, she gonna have to get some get looked at when they get into the uh, second half not the second half but um when they get back Back home. Still to be determined. Good to see pick it back on her feet. Walking a little gingerly, but walking nonetheless. You mentioned Bev Yanez, and we chatted to her just talking about the fact they've retained 16 players from last year. That accounts for about 73.5% of the team's minutes. So they managed to keep a good core. She's added to that, and especially exciting Raylan Turner, Alexa Barr. So you do feel they're well set for success. All right. Yes, good. Amanda West, Ellen Rubinson making her NWFL debut, and Belle Greedy. Schmidt taking it over, middle of the pitch. Olivieri able to cut back against Howell. A shot, perhaps? Oh. Where it needed to be as Greedy puts it out of play. Greedy, come on. The best of shots was it didn't connect with it properly, no power, no direction. All right, next one, next one. Two subs. Can see a couple of the changes coming now. Parker Goins. As Uchenna Kanu comes off, Goins will come on in her place. Oh wow. She didn't score? Yo. She took her sweet time. She should have said she had like two chances to go ahead and put it away. Like she what? 
Yo, this is her first eight goal, goal, goal. What? Wow. Jane. She could have, she should have scored, but it just may be Houston's favor to get a point out of this hoe. Oh my goodness. Oh, Barbara getting away with these, uh, she's been fouling how like at least three times, three, four times, Barbara. <laughs> this is like her third foul, she fouled on her hands. Hello. Hmm. Final fifteen. Oh, yeah. It is that and, and City played it, City played at the Eddie Head. Manchester City and uh, Manchester United played at the Eddie Head Stadium. It's 40k, so it's real, real good for them. Yo, is this Spear or Marla? Say. She she put her in a triple team. She put her in a triple team. She still got away. Houston, it's co coming in. Let's go. Sanchez. Oh, she said did. Uh, oh. 
everybody's fully matched fit yet, so it does make sense to. Oh. No, get Kornorki, man. Get that girl Flint, man. She's flying down the. Flying down the midfield, man. Houston, come on, man. We need a goal. We need a, we need a game winner here. Come on now. Yes, they have. They're much better, much better. Uh, Kiki won it. Good hustle, though. And racing have some very interesting players uh, coming through. My like draft class, especially with teams that don't really have an identity because they're new, like racing, expansion team. They got some cool pieces to implement and to work with. Because no, no, I mean, when, when it comes to expansion team, there's no, like, I'm not saying there's no, you have to be good now, like, expectations. <laughs> And it, so you have a, a little bit of leeway. Stay afloat. Just don't be the worst team. Oh, really now? Marta. The fact that they haven't found Konorki in the box, like at least when we see with Leon and Winnie Renard, they usually find her most of the time. They haven't. You see Camilla Moscato? She's part of racing now. <laughs> oh. Let's go, Houston. Yo. Houston dash, but it might just be the pace of Sears. Let's have a look. If she's played on, yeah, I think she's played on the far side. There was a defender slow getting up. How quick is she done this? Line? Yeah, she's pretty wonderful talent for getting the pleasure of seeing. Pacey, fantastic player to bring on with that sort of pace. Maybe I don't know none of these young young college players. My bro, I've been, I've been ready. I'll be at best draft class since best draft class. This one does make contact. The bicycle half hearted. It's probably going to be end of his old best season. One of his best seasons. You got Swanson back. You got Oshawala here. Wow. You got some of the Canadians came back home to America. Man, and Houston. Houston got a new manager that actually has some trophies under his belt. So it's, uh, he's actually a champion. Oh. 
right, Tish. She's probably a lot happier. Like, Goalkeepers don't always want to be too busy, as you said earlier. It just means that your defense is struggling. A lot happier second half, but what a good first half she had. I think you have to give her a lot of credit, too, that at least one of those nine came off her face. Yep, that's true. Like, uh, LOL. Well. Necessary. <laughs> Shout out to Captain Jane. Uh... Oh, she let a big roar. Your face is part of the block, and if it hits you, you just got to take it and try and smile as much as you can. Van Zanten with the throw now for Houston. You know, I think you used the term earlier, Gary. It just feels like Racing Noble has run out of gas a little bit. All right, I'm just seeing you. She got a player calling for it. Out. I'm just seeing you. Um, Joseph, she got a player. Diana's in the box. Looking for that first goal. Oh, she got pushed. He missed it. His back was towards him a little bit. He was too close. That was wild. Man, that touch. Let, let them down. I'll take that. Poor, poor advances. That's, that was a good opportunity. Nice. Mm. A little closer, a little closer. It's pretty equal. Took it away from Kiki Van ah, Kiki wanted. <laughs> Van Zanten taking it back out on Kayla Fisher and getting a card for her efforts. Crowd is not happy with that. You can hear the booze going on. Mm. Got that one out of there. A little more life for Louisville. Ball on the ground. Schmidt. Wow, Sophie. Nice cut, Sears. Another cross in the box. Oh, ref. Are we glitching right now? Type of chaos necessarily that these coaches might like to try to create. It's a very strange situation where referee falling. My headphones, I can't hear nothing. And then have a look here. He trips, takes down Jalen. And what if it had gone on to serve? I don't know. Almost think he needed to blow the whistle, right? Just whistle it dead. Yeah, just have a drop ball. I'm sucking the stuff of all the same whistle, but. Fault, but you're right, just a moment of chaos in a match that's seen all sorts here today. 
It is the NWSL After Dark, after all. And if you've been a fan of this league for years, you know anything can happen, especially when we start to get a little later in the evening. All right, I'm back. What the fuck? Houston, okay, cool, cool. It's true. Will we get an eight leaks? A late goal. <sighs> Ooh, that, that, that was. She had a little bit more time window. Oh, she threw her body out there. She threw it to the side. All the bodies being thrown in front of the ball there. And that Louisville defense. Sears, look how far she has carried the ball up the field. And then Schmidt, the wide. She got the fresh legs. Side for stride in the end. Held her ground. She does look exciting, Emma Sears. That pace. Whenever you have that sort of pace in a player who could also control the ball well and run with the ball, then you've got yourself a really dangerous player. And so excited to see her and Raylan Turner, of course, first half was absolutely fabulous too. Great players. Parker Goins, does she have that moment of magic? No, nothing there. I think she was hoping maybe yeah. that there might be a penalty, but there wasn't enough contact. I guess we are going to have a quick look at it, but I don't think there's anything there. Coming together shoulder to shoulder. Are oh, really reviewing that? No, I, th I think they're making subs. <laughs> Good game, man. Her turn. Unfortunately, they couldn't put the score sheet up. But definitely deserved to. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 10 minutes. You know, honestly, it is what it is, but if Houston can get a goal during here, because it's, it's always good if it's, if it's better for the team. Oh my goodness. Oh my, I was about to say. Out of Austria. That's funny. Oh, she slipped. Yo. Oh. Long ball over the top. Hit and ooh, don't think it crossed the line. I think that was a brilliant. Bit. Yeah, brilliant save. Kayla Fisher from scoring. Brave by Kayla yeah. Fisher, by the yeah. way. Give her credit, but just oh. hooked away before it crossed the line. Thankfully. It hasn't had goals, but it had virtually everything else. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have the not bicycle, maybe bicycle. Was that like the scorpion? Was that qualified? Was that clear? A scorpion uh -huh. defense. Yeah, it <laughs> Wow. And, and really, you were right in crediting Kayla Fisher. How often do you see on those collisions with a goalkeeper and a ball over the top, the attacking player maybe just waiting a second too mm. long when Fisher stuck a foot out, got it on the ball before Campbell could get there, knowing the collision. Thankfully, she all the way from Austria. That was funny. <laughs> That got me. That got me. That got me right there. 
I can't believe it. But he's still, I'd rather take you, I'll take a draw at home than a loss. So we were we y'all still got plenty of time. I mean, we're gonna have more time added. She got to get some. She just came back. Chicago, number one all time for the Red Stars. With 143 games started in her career, she just came on a veteran defender in this league. And something not feeling quite right. Oh. Shot attack. Let's get um <laughs> let's get the game back and going again. Let's go Houston. If they're in their seats, it looks like they're close to the edge of their seats in Houston. Right back on, but a bit of a affected gate, it looks like Defensive save from Sarah Puntigan behind the goalkeeper Jane Campbell who came out. Campbell with a career high in saves already on the evening. Nine of them before that last interaction. West. Going to work, edge of the area. Puts it up. Ordonez goes almost straight up in the air. She wants a handball called. Looking over at the referee. And Ordonez telling Courtney Peterson, hang on, don't throw it in yet. Let's just give them a chance to talk to VAR. She wants a VAR check, man. Let's see. We can make our own judgment here. See where the moment happens. There's where she says the arm was by their side. So I can't see that. And VAR seems to agree. Well, I mean, we only got one replay. The drums increasing in intensity for the Houston Dash. Their home opener tonight, kicking on racing Louisville. Both of these teams that are first year head coaches looking for their first win of the season. Ordonez gets out of traffic. Right oh, that was like him all too right there. Oh shit. It looked like we heard the whistle. Yeah, I think it hits her arm at the back there, West. But what a good ball whipped in the Diana once again here being strong. She was getting tugged on, so Yeah, this is uh, honestly Diana likes playing 
pretty everywhere. <laughs> but she likes to be active on the wing, in the middle. She's kind of like a bigger Esther. <laughs> so. It's good. I don't know about her. Well, we'll see from her technically, though, but. Yeah, Barbara. Sells it anyway as the foul is called and the free kick is coming. Olivieri called for the foul. That's in a good position. A bit of an angle just outside the box. Great angle to whip the ball in and you know, just Olivieri just not really going for the ball, just trying to stop the player. And I think that's yeah, it's a foul. It's 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 a, it's a subtle get out of my way real quick. It's a subtle one. <laughs> Dane mm. Campbell gotta be ready again. Okay. Oh. And it's out. Louisville thought for a corner. Instead, it's a goal kick. Now, Sarah Quintigan went to ground there, and I think the referee felt that there must have been a push or a shove. So <clears throat> All right. Cool, cool. I thought she was going to go action for a goal, but she passed it, so it kind of, like, put the pressure off. But, um... Fisher clear. Mm, but her shot. That's Whip it in, whip it in. Oh, corner. Gets it for Houston. will hustle over to take it for the dash. This could be it. This could be the final play of the night. Will it make a difference? Andressa. Ooh. Still coming for you. 
Oh my goodness. Man, I'm just saying you had three opportunities right there to get a better cross in. Put it in the air. You got Diana there. Put it in the air. She kept two balls on the ground. <laughs> he was like, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear, we're, we're done, so. <laughs> oh, well, zero, zero, Houston, but it's a win for Jane Campbell, that's all that matters, but Houston, last, you know, they are, they're looking for the first win, but it's all right. Thank y'all once again for tuning in to Anita's Joy, hashtag is the Joy, where every day is payday, baby, you should go get the flying high, flying out this third dimensional reality, and I'm going to see you on the next one. This is...